Hello, and welcome to Memphis Animal Services. We're so happy to have you join our Bluff City Canine Crew. The fact that you're here today shows that you care about the pets and people of Memphis, and we are so grateful for your participation. My name is Anna, and I'm one of the volunteer and outreach specialists here at MAS. I'll be going over a few things to make sure our dogs and volunteers stay happy and healthy during your walk or run with us. Please be sure to watch the whole video before you arrive for your shift and complete the waiver we have attached to the sign up. Please note that you must be 16 and up to walk dogs independently. Those under 16 can walk with a parent or guardian. During this brief presentation, here are the points we'll be discussing. If you have questions, you can ask the staff member when you arrive for your shift. We'll go over a few things before getting started. We'll go over the walking and running route that you will take, some basic dog handling and safety tips, heat safety, since we know it gets very hot here in Memphis, the return process and content submission, and how to stay involved with MAS. When you arrive, pull up to the front gate. Press the buzzer on the left-hand side and say you are here for dog walking. Please wait a few seconds for the gate to open. Once inside the shelter, have your waiver ready. Be sure you have signed your name and checked off that you've watched this training video. This will let you get started walking dogs even faster. Collect your poop baggies and treats from the volunteer office. Wait for us to bring your walking and running buddy to you. Please note that our dogs are pre-selected before the walkers and runners arrive. If you have any limitations, please let us know before we have brought you your dog. Your pup will be handed to you in our dog hallway. You will head outside the play yard door, then take a right outside the gate and follow the sidewalk to the fork in the road. You can choose to go either right or left. Once you've made a loop, you can return the dog back the way you came in, through the front gate. You will be walking along the cove, and the whole path should be around three-fourths of a mile. The slip lead will be around the dog's body as a no-pull harness. This needs to stay on them at all times. Have the loop around your wrist at all times and maintain a firm grip on the lead. We will have no nose-to-nose -nose contact with any other dogs. Try to stay at least six feet apart from other walkers at all times. Always be aware of your surroundings. Maintain control of your dog and don't let the dog walk you. Allow the dog to stop and sniff and potty if needed. No tugging or dragging the dog. If a dog won't walk, try coaxing them with treats and a gentle voice. If the dog still refuses, feel free to call a staff member for help. Please keep in mind that some of our dogs are athletes and others are couch potatoes. Don't force a dog to run if it doesn't want to. Please be sure to pick up after your dog. Poop baggies can be disposed of in the trash bag right outside the shelter door. If your dog appears nervous or stressed and is showing signs such as lip licking, yawning, a tucked tail, or its ears pin pinned back, don't overwhelm them. Some of our pups require a little more patience. If you see any concerning behaviors, such as lunging towards other people or dogs, ex excessive mouthiness, growling, etc., please report it to a staff member. If you require staff assistance during your walk or run, Call us at 901-636-1416 and a staff member will answer shortly. When should you call? If you see or experience a medical concern for either yourself or the dog, if you're struggling to control or handle your dog, and if your dog gets loose. Now we'll go over heat safety. Please keep in mind that if the pavement is too hot for your hands, it's too hot for their paws. Try to stay in the shaded grassy areas when needed. Keep on the lookout for signs of overheating. These can include heavy panting, a bright red tongue and gums, lethargy or mobility problems, vomiting, excessive drooling, and others. Please see the graphic shown for more details. Return and repeat. You will return your shelter dog to the front of the lobby the same way you came in. An usher will take the dog from you, so do not try to rekennel the dog yourself. If you would like to continue walking dogs, let the usher know. If you're done for the day, be sure to submit your content. One of the most important things about getting dogs out of their kennels is submitting content. With over 200 dogs in the building, it's hard to get good notes and photos of them. And the more we know about them, the more likely it is we can find them the perfect home. Feel free to tag us on Instagram at AdoptMAS and Facebook at Memphis Animal Services. Submit your photos and feedback promptly by scanning the QR code that we've provided for you. Feel free to use our hashtags when you're making an individual post. Stay involved with Memphis Animal Services. 
Join us in our life-saving mission by becoming an MAS volunteer or foster. We're always in need of consistent volunteers to come provide enrichment, adoption help, and more. Fostering helps provide a temporary home for dogs outside the, sh the stressful shelter environment, allowing us to help more animals. Check out our website to learn how you can help. If you're looking for other ways to stay involved, you can participate in our foster field trips every Saturday. We'll also have continu continuous Bluff City canine crew opportunities. Visit us at memphisanimalservices.com for more information. From our MAS staff and dogs, thank you.